Hello my beloved viewers, welcome back to my channel on a new video of lookup series that is currently running into my channel. Friends, in this video we are going to know some important details about range lookup and brief introduction of VLOOKUP function of Microsoft Excel and we are also going to use additional functions with VLOOKUP formula here. So here I have already created a file previously. Let's go to the point directly without wasting any time. So here we will calculate the actual cost with VLOOKUP function. So here whenever we put any weight it will match with this table array and we will get our cost here actual cost and we are going to use the approximate match option from the fourth argument of VLOOKUP function. To learn more watch this video till the end. To calculate cost based on weight you can use the VLOOKUP function. So in this example we have to type the formula in the cost cell that means the F8 cells I am going to type it look at here carefully equals to VLOOKUP you can use the tab button so it will automatically fill up your whole formula. After that you have to select your lookup value and our lookup value will be included into the F7 cell so you can select it with your cursor or you can type it manually then put a comma then it is asking for table array. So in my case the table array is from B6 to C10. So I am selecting it with my cursor you can type it manually and you can also press the F4 key from your keyboard so your table array will be locked and it will be not changed ok friends then put again a comma then it is asking for column index number and write it down carefully friends in a VLOOKUP formula the column index number is a very important part and it will be included according to your table right so if your table is in these cells that is from B6 to C10 according to your table we are going to search for the per kg cost so our column index number will be number 2 then put a comma and we are going to use the approximate match function. So here you can write it down as true or simply can be typed number 1. It will be considered as the approximate match option in this fourth argument that is range lookup. Then simply close the bracket and now you have to apply one more trick here you have to put an asterisk symbol here it will be used as the multiplication and what we are going to do with asterisk symbol we are going to multiply the weight with the cost so that whenever you found the cost and the cost will be per kg cost look at here carefully it will be showed as per kg cost so whatever weight we have input here it will multiply with the actual cost and show you the result so after that simply hit the enter button look at here it is showing nothing as we did not put any value here in the weight cell so if we type any value here it will show you the result according to your table array and it will show you the actual cost so it is 5 look at here 5 5 times 8 means 40 and it is showing actual result you can use the decimal format of your weight also like I am doing here 72 it will show you according to your weight so let's check how this formula actually works the core of the formula is a VLOOKUP which configured in approximate match mode by setting the fourth argument as one or true. In approximate match mode the value in the first column of VLOOKUP must be shorted. VLOOKUP will return a value at the first row that is less than or equals to the lookup value. 
with weight as the lookup value, VLOOKUP finds and returns the right cost per kg and this cost is then multiplied by the weight to calculate the final cost. So that's all for today friends, hopefully you like this video and learn something new in VLOOKUP function. I will come back soon with another video, till then stay tuned and keep learning, keep supporting this channel.